it falls to every man, woman, and child of every nationality, color, and creed the divine duty to do good. Our Lord and Teacher went about doing good. In the book of the Acts, we read how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. God is with them who walk with him. How can two walk together unless they are in agreement? Agree with God and be at peace. God is always right. God is good. God is love. It is time to agree with him. Accept what he says and be his friend. Jesus said, I call you friends because you love me and do what I say. God's commandments are not grievous. When you have the spirit of the living God living and abiding within you, it becomes your joy to do what he delights to do. It becomes your desire to be like him. We were made in God's image. We were made to be like him. If we are living in the spirit, it is the most natural thing to be like God. Friend, if today you are struggling, if you find my words contrary and hard to do, do not give up. For there is a very simple solution. All you need to do is to fall in love with Jesus. Allow me to assure you that that is very easy to do. Consider the people in your life that you have loved. You love them because you have a relationship with them. You love them because you've spent time with them. You love them because you've shared your life with them. It is exactly the same with God. You must be prepared to spend time with him. You trust your loved ones because you know them. Spend time getting to know God. Talk with him, ask him questions, listen to him, obey him. Here is a simple key. Recognize that God is all-knowing, all-powerful, that God is love and that God is good. That God is perfect in every way. God made you. He knows everything about you. He cares for you and he loves you more than anyone in the world. Amongst other things, the Holy Bible is a revelation of God. The more you read it, accepting it as the inerrant word of God, the quicker you will get to know God. But friend, this is not about you and your efforts to get to know God. It is a relationship. You should ask God to reveal himself. You must lay bare your deepest secrets to him. Do you think he does not already know? Tell him how you feel. Tell him your plans and hopes, your thoughts and expectations. Give voice to your thoughts. 
Confess your doubts. Berate your sins and failings. Cry out to God from your innermost being. Unfold yourself. Expose yourself. When Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, the first thing they did was to hide their nakedness from God by sewing fig leaves together to hide their shame. A fig leaf hides nothing from the eyes of the all-seeing God. Stop trying to hide from God. There is one thing and one thing only that will hide your shame. God himself. God himself has dealt with the matter once and for all. Jesus died upon the cross. The innocent for the guilty. It is the precious blood of Jesus and only the precious blood of Jesus that washes a man clean and provides the atonement and pays the price to bring you back to God. Don't look to yourself to find acceptance with God. Simply trust in the finished work of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. As Jesus says, he who is forgiven much, loves much. You have been forgiven much, you have every reason to love much. Meditate on these things. Talk to Jesus about them. And know that he loves you. As you do that, you will want the things of God. You will want to do the things that God is doing. Ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit and to keep filling you with his Holy Spirit. And as you do so, you will want to be like Jesus. You will want to do the things that Jesus is doing. And so you, you also can go about doing good, bringing healing and deliverance to a hurting world. Now that is sharing the gospel, the good news, practical and powerful and always a blessing. As you seek God, May the Lord open your eyes and your ears. May the Lord create within you a new heart, a heart to love God and a heart to love his creation, our brothers and sisters. May our Heavenly Father bless you as you seek him and may he give you faith to know that everyone who seeks, finds, and that everyone who asks, receives, and that to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. See, Jesus himself stands at the door to open to you, his beloved. <laughs>